Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at how to insert the micro SD card, reset the camera, set up all day video recording, set up motion detection, and how to export video fragments from the app. If you ever need to remove the back panel, simply take the clock, place it face down. I'm going to have the USB port facing away from me or on the top. A couple of fingernails right underneath the lip, gently pry up, and it'll pop right off nice and easy. Inserting the micro SD card is quick and easy. SD card not included, but it is recommended that if you're gonna use one, that you get a high speed micro SD card. The slot is located right here underneath the USB port. And we're gonna place it with the printed side facing down. So just line it right up here with the slot, slide it in there. It's gonna start to see, and then secure it with the tip of your fingernail. And you'll hear it click right into place. If you ever need to reset the camera, make sure it's plugged into power first. This is gonna be the reset button right here. Yes, you're just gonna hold that for a couple of seconds until you see an LED flash, red and then blue. Good, and then you can release. Wait for the LED to go away. Give it a few minutes to reset and then you can reestablish the connection. This is great if you happen to be switching Wi-Fi or taking the clock with you on the go so you can reconnect with that new Wi-Fi network. If you ever need to access camera settings, there's a small little pencil icon in the upper right hand corner. Just tap that. And now you'll be able to scroll through a variety of different camera settings. If you'd like to confirm your micro SD card is working, simply click on the storage settings option and you'll be able to see all pertinent information. The recording settings option allows you to toggle on and off local recording to a micro SD card if using one. It also allows the option to transition between event recording, which is motion activated, or non-stop and loop recording, which will continuously record as long as the camera is plugged in. Pressing the record button from the control panel allows you to record directly into your phone anything that you might be seeing in real time. The photo album allows you to access your personal gallery of photos and videos that you have taken and recorded directly to your device. It also allows for sharing to additional apps and or email. Now, when it comes to night vision or infrared, this is a standard app for many models of cameras. And even though the app has it, this camera does not have any infrared LEDs because it's a hidden camera. Having said that, if you leave it in the auto mode and you happen to go into a low light situation, it will try to boost the sensitivity and give you a better overall image versus something that stays pure black just like this. Tapping the alarm icon allows you to directly control your motion detection sensitivity and alarm settings. Notifications can arrive in a variety of different ways, alerting you to movement in front of the camera. You can always review all notifications by pressing the me button in the bottom right corner, going into the message center, and then you'll be able to review all of your alarms and see what they were, when and where, and what was happening. Lastly, the playback feature allows you to review recordings on your camera based on date and time. This is especially useful when using the motion activated recording. You can pinch and zoom to expand the timeline and skip from recording to recording to get to the video that you want to fastest. From here, once again, you can hit the record button and this will automatically save and download the specific clip right to your phone. From there, we can go back to the photo album as seen previously. We can now review that video we just recorded off of the camera onto our phone and you can hit the share button in the bottom right hand corner, allowing you to share this video file to social media, email, or anywhere else that you like.